Ah, oh, sorry about that, everybody. The stream's not acting correct. It's trying to figure it out. There we go. Golly. Finally, finally, the chat wasn't showing. It was like driving me wild. But here we are. We're back in it. Hopefully you can hear me and everything's good. How's everyone's week starting, huh? My goodness, who do we got in the chat? Ty? I hope it's Ty anyway. Last verse, Roberto, Pat Siegel, Taven States, Avery. Last verse again, Hayden, Willem, Dakota, Salmon, Mood, Mood. How do I pronounce that? Travis, Eric, Smokey, Sambi, uh, Limp Fish, Egyptian Wolf, God. Right on, right on. The local Abrams. Doing the mission right now. Hi, hello, hello. He is back. It could be Bo or it could be Boo. Either is acceptable right now. All right, let's get into it, everyone. Chopper says hello. How's it going? What's the next Russian Fishing 4 video? Great question. I don't know. Great question. I don't know is the answer to that. Wow, it's raining. Strange 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 
Can we catch any? Wow, we got four, five, six, six nights in a row of this. Well, let's skip to the other night, I guess, and we'll see if we can catch some tiger fish during these nights. We'll try it out, I guess. What have we got to lose? We're in a friends only right now, so feel free to join in, I suppose. If you want to do that sort of thing. I've been fishing around here. Though we only have nine shiners left. So uh, we'll just have to see what we can get with it. Hello, you're four minutes late. No, you're right on time. You're right on time. Um, Fisher Roy's here. Good deal. And then um, doing all this. Chopper's a hub man. Or a hub woman. Good to see. Good to see. Thank you. Hi, Matthew. How's it going? Hello from the Netherlands. Good to see. I met some people from the Netherlands not too long ago. Sorry, I got lime on my finger. Fitz Gaming made it to the stream early? That's good to see. This could be a horrible experiment. We're going to wait here for like two minutes to see if we catch anything. If we don't get any bites, then we're going to change the time. I just figured since we had... Friggin' five of these nights in a row or something like that. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five nights of this in a row. May as well try to catch something. Otherwise, we're gonna be skipping five nights, which I'm fine with. I just wanted to see if we'd catch anything first. This could be the the magic. This would probably be not a bad time to fish for uh, catfish, to be quite honest. But oh well. Here we are, out here fishing for tigerfish. We did get a bite. Look at us go! Look at us go! Ooh, 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 ooh! Taking line out, taking line out. I will be interested to see. Oh, it just came to the top there, but right on where were the buoy is? We couldn't see what it was. Bought a boat pack because I'm just, but I did have fun. Well, that's good to see. Having fun is the is the main thing. Okay, breached the water there, looked kind of yellowish, so I assume we probably have a Goliath on right now. Oh, there goes the jingle jangle. Christmassy there. 40 feet, man. Can we get you in real quick? Can we just get you in real quick first? It would be nice if I didn't have to try and juggle you two. 30, 30 feet, 30 feet, 30 feet, 20, 20 feet. You are like right here, man. I swear if I don't grab this right now, we're going to lose it. This guy just breached the water too. Alright, we got him in a little bit. Let's see if we can manage to get the last feet here. Come on. San Joaquin steelheads go crazy. Speaking of steelheads, I've heard that the steelhead fishing in Milwaukee is pretty awesome, so I can't wait to do that in a few months. Come on, you. Got more fish to... Ah, oh, you've got to be joking me. Little tiny goliath. We missed that other fish. Rat. We're that close. When do you think there's going to be a new map? I don't know. Mm, uh, February. <laughs> How was my day? My day was stressful, man. We did get some news from uh, Expansive Worlds. So that's a video coming out tomorrow. Um, and I tried to finish that before the stream, but I got, I got this close. <laughs> that close. Right at the very end there, I was like... Uh, if I worked on this for another five minutes, I bet I could finish it. But I was like, ah, the stream's starting, so might as well go go to do the stream. Hey, Bo, how's it going? Not too bad. Thanks for asking, Justin. How's it going with you? Crowd fishing all through Western Wisconsin is premium, premium. Well, I'll have to travel to Western Wisconsin then. Minnesota as well. Oh, nice. I'm looking forward to it. Tinky, how's it going? Same here. Can't wait for the new map and fishing planet. I uh, yeah, I bet so. I bet so. Well, they said they were what? It was like they were like two percent or ten, ten or two percent done with it last time we made a video. So who who knows how long it's gonna take them to do it? 
officially bad made to the stream you missed the last video well glad you made it and me 224 has been a hub man for 23 months almost two years and the new month new message is almost christmas very true very true all right this was worth uh trying anyway we got two fish i don't know why i'm doing this just go get in the boat and get out real quick all right we did it tinky is here all right we're gonna skip a bunch of days forward skipping days skipping days like i said these are probably great catfish days They've got to be good for something, you know. Uh, now to decide if I want to fish during this day or not. I'm not. I, I, I'm going to stick to my guns. This is this is what I've been doing. Let's just do it. Let's go back to what we've been doing. What's been working for us. Throw this out here. My chest is like on and off. It's giving me health anxiety. Should I go to the doctor? Your chest has been hurting off and on chest uh is it when you breathe or is it just like hurting did you get hit there at any time so i'm curious about get some unicorns thanks justin we'll hopefully get some not too much saltwater fishing game called fishing planet uh, i assume it was just a lot to take on you know, their their engine wasn't uh, able to really uh, do a good job showing it. I mean, if you look at this water here, it's a slow-moving river. There's no ripples or anything, you know, crazy like that. Like you see in, like, uh, The Angler. You know, uh, Call of the Wild, The Angler, or something like that. They don't have very good fishing dynam or uh, water dynamics in Fishing Planet. So, I mean... Does this remind you of the ocean? No, not really. The ocean is always, you know, swaying and, and crashing into rocks and going into the sand and coming back out. I mean, it's, 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 the ocean requires a certain set of uh, dynamics. And if you can't fake it very well, if you can't show it very well in your game, well, then it's not going to feel like it's the ocean. So what's the point, you know? And I, and I actually think that's, that's a nice thing. Fishing Planet did. Um, not compromising, you know, their game just to get ocean out, you know. Uh, they had a standard, standard, a quality, whatever you want to say, to uh, get the right thing out, and that's what they're shooting for. Got a bobber moving. To the number one D1 football college in Kansas. What, K State? Any Christmas wishes? No, I don't think so. Just just hoping that everyone's healthy and, and, and well over over the holiday season. Be lame. Anyone else have any, uh, what's the, what's the, what's the number one thing on your Christmas list, huh? Your holiday, whatever you celebrate. What's, what's one thing you're looking forward to more than anything else? You're on Xbox, can you join? Unfortunately not. No Xbox to PC stuff. Unless you play on Microsoft Store. Fishing Planet. level six but having no luck with unique goliath tiger fish lately i i'm telling you i think they uh they changed the rate of which you catch uniques in this game i swear it i swear it's just hurting okay well if it's just hurting then i guess it's fine safe than sorry i do experience something like that as well just got a uh, how's it going do you know when the christmas event 
Days is my first Christmas and fishing plan. I was wondering. I would assume it's probably gonna be like five days before Christmas. Or or three days. They always pick the weirdest days to do their holidays. They're like, oh, you, you know what we're gonna do? A Halloween event. And when are we gonna do it? We're gonna do it three days before Halloween and then a week after Halloween. It doesn't make any sense. You're excited to do Halloween-y things up to Halloween. Once Halloween's over, you don't really care about it anymore. It's Halloween is over. So why are we still doing a Halloween event? You should have, it should be two weeks before Halloween and that's it. I don't know. I need to, I need to message someone at Fishing Planet. Let them know I'm, I'm upset with the way they schedule their holiday events. I don't like it. Hello, Jack. How's it going? What other game engines are there? Well, a lot of the... I mean, other than, like, the well-known ones, like, uh... Unreal Engine and stuff like that. I mean, a lot of places will make their own engine. I mean, that's what Call of the Wild the Hunter does. Stuff like that. So... This is likely something that they created themselves. It's able to support what they can make it support, I guess. Are Minnesota and Wisconsin allies? I don't know what that means. <laughs> Are they allies? They're they're two of fifty of these great United States. Obviously, they're they're allies. You wish for the Congo pack, oh do ya? How you doing, Kila Night ass? Doing quite well. Otherwise, I mean, other, I mean, honestly, I'm kind of surprised right now. I'm not catching many fish. Maybe we just need to throw out more rods. I, I've been, fi I've been fishing sort of off and on at this uh, location over the weekend, and we were catching all sorts of fish. It was getting kind of horrible at times because it'd be difficult to juggle four different rods at the same time. Which is why I only threw out two rods in the beginning there, because I really didn't want to juggle so many rods at the same time. But, uh, yeah. A new bur uh, a burt bike. Burt dike. A dirt bike. Very cool. Sounds neat. Bowling shoes. Nice. This guy going crazy now. Crazy fish. He's going crazy. Get him in a little bit and then switch, switch to this one for a little bit. I assume they're both pretty small tiger fish, just judging by how they're fighting. This is a goliath, actually, small goliath. Interesting. Grab the rod, he knew. Oh my god, he knew. You drive. I actually lost a fish because of this the other day. There's a. Uh, I don't know if you play on the console. It's probably not the same thing, but there's a hotkey. That you can press to pick up rods on your rod stand. It's just shift plus whatever, you know, uh, number it is. So for this rod, it would have been shift uh, four. And and usually it works, but other times you're just hitting it over repeatedly. Just pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. And they won't pick it up. And it's the most aggravating thing in the entire world. And, uh, and I lost a fish like that over the weekend. Annoying. Is more trophy oons. How's your day? Doing quite well, Abrams. Thanks for asking. All Christmas. Ooh. Ooh. A toadfish fishing rod, eh? That's awesome, Limpfish. Should be fun to go fishing with. 50 pound braid to go with it. Ooh. Wow. Going for the, uh, going for the biggins, eh? I'm curious what fish, uh, end up in this, like, this little shallow pool here with all these ripples going on. There's got to be a fish there. I just don't know what it is. Any tips to calm down anxiety? No. No. Don't got anything. Play video games. Empty your mind. Play. 
Play an RPG. Pretend like you're the person in the game instead of the person in your real life. That's how people get lost into World of Warcraft and stuff. <laughs> I'm not... I'm not uh, Bill Sworn from Idaho. I am Agro Malgosh, an orc warrior from... <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> Orgrimmar. That's right. I'm not an accountant who works 8 to 5 every single day. I'm a warrior who completes quests. That's who I am. That's how you calm down anxiety. Unique Pyrosi, I just need two more. Oh yeah, they definitely do. They definitely do. Whoa, oh, oh, beep, 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 beep. Down to our last three shiners too. No one actually likes Halloween except kids. They tolerate it. I love Halloween, so I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know if you know this, but we kind of have a, a month-long Halloween extravaganza for three years running. Someone who doesn't like Halloween wouldn't do that. Just a tip there. Just so that you can you can identify someone who likes Halloween and someone who doesn't in, in the future. There's a trophy. Came out of nowhere. I think it was easier to reel in than the other ones. You're playing WoW right now? Oh, oh, I see. I see how it is. 6,770 XP. Might have to go after the uh, Goliath Tigerfish. More here in a bit. Once we run out of Shiners, I'll go do that for a little bit. Uh, well, Fishing Planet add ocean maps. That's what they said anyway, Jack. They put it in their one of their last newsletters that they're working on an ocean map right now. Opinion on an Australian map. Uh, yes. People have brought it up in the past. Seems like people would like it, and I think it would be fun too. You got a bunch of cool fish there. You ever watch uh, Cavi Fishing on YouTube? He's got uh, some... Follow his Instagram. He posts a lot of short videos too. He He's from Australia, and he posts a lot of cool fishing videos. Trying to do Congo Nightly Hunt. Ooh. 27 inches of snow where you live right now. My goodness gracious. You got an e-scooter for Christmas? It's not even Christmas yet. How do you know you got an e-scooter? Did you see it? You spying? You spying on Christmas presents or something? You're late, but you made it, Gerald Bates. That's all that matters. Do parents like Christmas? All they do is spend money for their kids. Absolutely. I mean, some do, some don't. Christmas is a touchy subject. I didn't realize this till I got older, but like, it's supposed to be a fun time of the year, right? People look forward to Christmas, you know, and, and it, oh, holly jolly, it's so much fun. Get gr gifts, have fun with uh, friends and family. Well, there's some people who don't view Christmas like that, obviously. Uh, maybe their par their family didn't have a lot of money growing up, or maybe they had a bad family dynamic. They didn't go along with their mom, get along with their dad, or something like that. And so to see all these other people really enjoying Christmas, loving it, giving gifts, spending time with family and everything, it makes them kind of upset that they never had that experience growing up. And so when you hear about people not liking Christmas, you kind of have to put yourself into their shoes and realize like maybe they didn't have the greatest experience with Christmas growing up and so when they think of this uh, super jolly fun time they think of horrible memories with their parents and you know their uh, someone who died or something you know terrible you know things that we wouldn't want to experience I guess so uh, I don't know I I, I I at one point I just thought people who didn't like Christmas were just sour pusses or something like that they were just kind of Scrooge and whatnot, but now I, I realize it's it's a real thing. <laughs> I can understand it. But uh, but for those people who do enjoy Christmas, yeah, giving gifts is a lot of fun. I I enjoy giving things to people that I think they'll really enjoy, and then um, seeing how they enjoy it. I guess. Why don't you use a bigger keep net? I don't know. 
why don't you ask better questions? I don't know. <laughs> I just I don't, don't have an answer for that question. Still out here so much fun to catch a San Joaquin. That's what people tell me. Good Goliath spot we'll head to. I'm actually heading to one right now, so. There are boats in unison, Fisher Roy. It's like an echo going on. 60 some people watching, only 10 likes. I know. Well, it's just because people don't like me, you see. I've realized as I've streamed more and more, just because people are watching the stream doesn't mean they like me. Otherwise, they would like the stream. Because, but, you know? You know, that's okay. I mean, I don't even think we'd hit uh, 100 likes this stream. I don't know if it's possible anymore. Used to be simple. Back in uh, back in summer, we would be like, ah, oh, let's see if we can hit 200 likes, 250 likes. Now it's now it's a question of if we'll even hit 100 these days. Golly, crazy times we're in. Crazy times, I tell you. All right, let's see if we can catch. I'm going to go. Let's throw. Let's throw an A dot on this one with a with a large minnow. We'll keep the other one with a shiner. Just to see. And a four aught. Not sure what the depth is. Make it less. We'll make it less. Throw this puppy out here. See what we get. Is your excuse for more fishing gear? Yeah, I wonder what kind of fish will be on the uh, the ocean map. It's only it's hard to say. You know, honestly, depends on where uh, where at you are in the world, right? As to what you'd have available. There's some overlap, especially as it gets up in the in the north and stuff like that. It gets colder and kind of have the same fish available in different areas of the world, but yeah. Sharks, tuna. How long have you been streaming? Did I miss much? Nah, just from uh, 7.30, so just a little under half an hour. Gave you his old custom bowling ball. Wow, that's cool. Custom bowling ball. It's pretty neat. I'm gonna throw on a buzz. Old buzz bait. Buzz bait. Fun to say. Buzz bait. We're gonna see if we can catch something. Oh, never mind. Got a fish on. On the eight, that was, yeah, the eight dot large minnow here. This was specifically for Goliaths. Let's see what we got. We're bringing it in rather easily, though, is the thing. Hopefully, you catch a new. I agree. Hopefully, we do. First thing you do is hit the like button. Oh, well, thank you. Okay, mm dokie. Follow 24 pound uh, African tiger fish to start. That's a good deal. Reach level 80. Good goal. Hopping on Fishing Planet right now. Good deal, Xander. Sounds good. You say to use a 10 on I tell you what, the problem is that if you use a larger hook, you catch, you catch less fish most of the time. Um, it keeps the smaller fish away, but gives you a larger fish. And when you're in a live stream and trying to, you know, have people um, not get bored, I guess, it's a lot easier to not get bored watching someone catch fish versus just sit there waiting to see if a big fish will come by you know we could sit there for 10 minutes with big big hooks out there waiting for a big fish or we could sit here for 10 minutes and catch some small fish while waiting for an opportunity for a big one to come as well and never try you you never try well you tried to uh subscribe tonight evidently the little small goliath looks like a small goliath to me all right, 37 pounds. Sure are hitting us with the small fish, though. Even with the uh, even with the lures. Has it snowed in Kansas yet? Uh, it snowed like a month. Uh, yeah, a month ago in like November. Um, it hasn't snowed since then. It was a little frosty uh, a couple days ago, but not not too much. That's a lot of large minnows, man.
You use shad lures. I got, I got, I got a shad as well. We have a shad on the end of this uh, buzz bait too. I just wanted to see if we could get some on top water. I love, I love watching those tiger fish hit top water. It's fun. You can also bring this in a little bit slower. Maybe give them more time to come up and grab it. You catch big and small on the ten op. Yeah. I yeah. It, if I hadn't have tried it a few days ago to see, because you had mentioned it in a stream, and so I thought, well, maybe it will work, and I just caught next to nothing over like a half hour, um, I would totally believe you. But I just, I tried it the other day, and I just didn't catch anything. So I'm not trying it during a stream. <laughs> if it would, if it would have worked well, then I'd be like, yeah, totally, Roy, let's do it. Um, but it didn't work well for me, so. Glad it works well for you. I just don't catch anything. Got a piranha on a 10 out one time. Yeah, I know that, man. I know that feeling. All right. We're just catch catching next to nothing at this point, aren't we? Didn't get anything on that whole uh, float of the match rod. I, I tell you what. I tell you what. Fishing Planet is up to fishy things, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I don't even know if I want to throw. Let's just toss this. Let's get this back in. And we'll uh, change the time. The my gameplay, I find your vids good for all people. Well, that's good, Smokey. Glad to hear it. Changing the time to this time now. What time is that? It's this time, obviously. Don't ask any more questions. Just know that's the time it is. The heck throw was that, he knew. Bummy. How the Kansas City Chiefs doing this season? Uh, they worried everyone against the Broncos the other night. Last night, I guess. Uh, they were up by quite a bit, and then the Broncos started coming back. It was ridiculous because the Chiefs were nine and three, and the Broncos were three and nine, and then the Broncos were like coming back to win it at the end. So. So the Chiefs are 10 and 3 now, I believe. Opinions. Opinions on what? CJ the All-Rounder, how's it going, man? Reeling with Rocco. Hi. All right. Now that it's uh now that it's afternoon, maybe we'll catch something on this buzz bait again. Give me the buzz. Buzz buzz. I think you just got an African tiger fish from over here. Come on, tiger. Tiger, tiger. Hmm? Hmm. He missed it. It was at one speed, too. Come on, man. I can't make it any easier. You gotta grab those. <laughs> Should we throw out more rods? I was just about to say, I think the match rod's about to go off. No, it's floating down again. Now the bottom rod's gone off. What do we have here? What do we have here? Gotta go for dinner. Wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Take care. 59 pound rod be fine for tigers. I think uh, African tigers probably fine. The problem is that you end up catching goliaths mixed in with Africans. So, uh, it's hard to say, honestly. Uh, might be fine, might be horrible. It just depends on which one you catch. Really? Love that pike you caught in the UK. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that was fun. I, dude, I really enjoyed fishing for pike. I thought they were a blast. Hey, we got it before it, before it even reached the top. We got one on. Nice.
Get in here, fish. When you go to Illinois, you're gonna try to catch some huge carp and pike. Good idea, man. Good idea. Yeah, I can't wait to go for more more pike. When I uh, I already got a carp spot for uh for Wisconsin. Oh, this is a tiger as well. This is Uni. Oh man, the way he took out line in the very beginning there, I thought might have an uni on man and then he came in real easy still a pretty fish honestly i i think anyway pretty sweet so i think they made them way too much to be quite honest i mean that 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 tiger fish that we just caught there didn't look any bigger than the one on my wall and that one only weighed like eight pounds. So the fact that the one that we catch in the game is 24 pounds just seems kind of weird to me. The Roach Spoon, really? I add some cookies on the buzz bait and they'll hit it? Cookies, huh? Five pound rod, 20 pound line, man. I get it, I get it. Trying to be uh, realistic, huh? That sounds like something I'd do in real life. Buy some like small little rod from a Walmart and then put some 20 pound line on it because I'm sick of stuff breaking. You'll be back in 30 minutes, sounds good, CJ. We'll be here. We'll be here for another hour and a half, basically. Get in here, it's a Goliath. Whenever they start fighting like that, I think, okay, this is a Goliath. And then when I see stripes on the side, then I'm like, <gasps> oh, um, but if that doesn't happen, then it's just a Goliath. The problem is if it doesn't fight that hard, if it's still pulling out line, but it's not fighting that hard still, it's only like a 40 to 50 pound Goliath, which isn't great. Is a go, but not much pike near you. Oh. Need to buy more minnows when I get back on, yeah. 30 to 50 pound carp in Glen Shoals. Oh, that is a range, man. Where is Glen Shoals at? Is free to play still going? You betcha, man. I've been extremely busy, guys. I'm sorry. I wish I could put out more videos than I do. It's I work, you know, throughout the entire week, and then the weekend comes, and uh, and I have to do work for the other company I work for over the weekend. And the time that I actually have to play games, I'm like, okay, do I want to try and put out a video, or do I just want to relax and have fun? <laughs> and usually relax and have fun wins out because I'm stressed out from working so much working seven days a week so 18,000 XP though for this little trophy glide boy didn't put up much of a fight I'll take that all day 23,000 dollars about said ducks a mixture of dollar and bucks but yeah 18,443 XP I'll take that take that bro give me that near Hillsboro Illinois interesting my, uh, my wife grew up around Hillsboro, Kansas. So, Hillsboro, Illinois, huh? First time tuning in to the stream after watching all your free uh, fishing planet vids. Well, thank you, Braden's Fishing. Glad you did it. Got me a six point whitetail Ohio deer a couple weeks ago. Ooh, very nice. Did you post a picture in the uh, Discord? If you, if you did, I probably saw it, but I can't recall at the moment. I only got a small crappie and a small yellow perch. Hey, well, better than nothing, eh? I think it's always fun traveling places and, and catching fish. Even if it's nothing, like, amazing. Just the fact that you went on a trip and you caught some fish that may not be native to your state. Like, that's that's cool to me. Or native to your country. Like, that's even cooler, man. I'm back from last stream. How's it going? Mellow? Not too bad? I haven't looked at the weather since we changed. 
Looks like we have one more day of this weather and then two more bad days uh, for tiger fish anymore. Anyway. Well, thanks, Ruben. Well, thank you, Xander. Posted on Instagram. Oh. Finished the free to play in like seven days. No, it doesn't surprise me, man. Doesn't surprise me. Got here. This guy's putting up a tiny bit of a fight. Boy, if this was a regular African tiger fish, that would be all right. See, we're reeling him in rather easily, but at the same time, he's putting up a little bit of a fight. So if he's a tiger fish, it'll be pretty sweet. If he's a Goliath, he's probably going to be somewhere between 40 and 50 pounds. What's the Discord? You can join it. Uh, there should be a link in the description. It's a it's a Goliath. It's a go go boy. Come here, go go. Glenn Shoals Lake is old Hillsborough Lake. Guy named Nathan Rock caught a 32 pound common on a cicada. On a cicada, huh? That is interesting. I I bet the carp do really enjoy uh, when those cicadas come in and die and stuff like that. Gives them something to eat. Never considered that. We always talk about mulberries during the season where they're all up on the trees and falling. If you can find a good mulberry tree next to a lake, oh my god, the carp would go crazy for that. Love that stuff. Let's see if we can manage one or two more before we switch days. Hello! How's it going, Kasua? Hopefully I said that correctly. Sid the Sloth, how's it going, man? Boy, we're about hitting 80. We just might hit 100 likes this stream. And I don't want to get too excited. Probably won't. I'll be a pessimist. Probably won't. Nobody likes me. <laughs> I'm using the wrong, using the wrong rod. Well, hopefully we don't catch a big rod, big fish. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> on the drop pretty much I mean this is uh, it's the same rod we catch tarpon with so it can't be too bad but I don't like how small this reel is I feel like it should be bigger they'd probably oh this is an African tiger fish ah nothing to write home about but that's, that's how I'll take it Get more serious about it. Any suggestions? Uh, yeah, man. In fact, uh, I have a video on the BZ Hub where I show off all of my gear. Um, I think it's one of the blog videos where I woke up and it was rainy, so I just stayed inside and just went over all the gear I have. And you can cut to the point of the video where I'm showing off my carp rods, but off the top of my head, I think uh, I think I recommend a 10-foot Nash Stalker. Uh, it's one of my favorite rods I have. I have a I have an 8-foot rod. Uh, a 10 foot no I have a 9 foot a 10 foot and 12 foot and I've found that fishing in the United States the way I go fishing anyway not fishing big lakes and stuff like that the uh, the 10 foot rod is is my favorite length um, and then uh, and then Nash just makes some pretty decent stuff so Nash stalker is a good good one I've I've enjoyed using anyway you can get it on a uh, big carp tackle for like I don't even want to guess how much it is. Maybe 60, 60 bucks or something like that. Could be more, could be 80. Why is this African fish dancing? I don't know. What is a fish dance? What's the name? Just go in the description and click on the join link. Get around two or three uniques per night. Sweet, man. You have one? You haven't been here in a long time, I'd say. 
This guy is putting up a fight and a half, man. What are the chances we have a Goliath uh, unique on? Huh? Who's who's thinking? It's putting up a little bit of a fight anyway. I don't know. I don't know. Wild Fishman just got a unique African tiger fish. Oh, thank you, man. Big fish snapped you off. Yeah. Sounds like a sounds like a familiar story. I don't even think this fish is that big, man. I don't know. Let's go! Finally. Yeah, back into it. Let's go. We got him. Big big boy. Big boy. All right. All righty, tidy. Got that Uni Goliath. Everyone devote this moment to memory. Everyone always asks, Bo, what's one fish, what's like the number one fish you'd ever want to catch in your life? It's this one right here, Goliath Tiger Fish. Everyone remember this moment, December 12th, 2022. Anytime you ever think of that question, you just refer to this moment. And when you see other people answer, you know, ask that question in the future, just say, hey, go watch the live stream from December 12th of 2022 and you'll get your answer. Uh, right at the uh, 46 minute mark. Just go watch it, man. <laughs> but right on. Goliath Tigerfish, 32,000 XP. We're almost so close to leveling up to 74. $37,000. I'll take it. I'll take it. I guess. If I have to. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I think we're going to change time now. You gotta go to the hospital. Oh my goodness. That doesn't sound good. Got St. Croix two months ago, got pretty much skunked and fell off. Well, what the heck? How did you get skunked at St. Croix? I told you, I, I gave, I put it made out about all of that. I put a video out exactly what to do. How is it possible that you got skunked? Skitch, we're, we're skipping the time. I like it when the sun's right in my face. That's my favorite. Anyone else have a favorite? That one's for you. Okay. W Twizzler Packet says W. Yo, remember me, D12 says. I remember everyone. That's the rule. You've got combined. <laughs> They get pretty crazy here in the Congo. This uh, this line that I'm using right now is at 30% right now. Right now, right now. What's up, Cobra? How's it going, man? Are we gonna hit 100 likes tonight or not? I don't try to make a big deal about it until I catch a unique. And then after that, then I expect it. Come on now, what are you waiting for? I can't do anything, but I've already caught the the best fish the best sized fish of the goliath tiger fish that you can at this map what what more do you want from me yo yo i hope matthew says okay back we're gonna well i guess we can throw that shad and see if we can catch another one on that thing we like immediately caught a fish the first time we threw it see so if we can get another one See, I asked for likes. Instead of giving likes, nine people just left. He said, Psh. as if I would give you a like. <laughs> no, I would rather leave. I thought this man was uh, was just doing it for fun. Now he's asking from, for likes from me? What does he think? I just have unlimited likes to give? No. I refuse, sir. I refuse. Good day to you. And then they then they left, so. No, that's okay. Now we're down to 73, so even more people left. They couldn't believe it. I I and all like I said. Grizzly! Thank you, Grizzly. Just smashed an Uni Goliath. Absolutely smashed it. 
Yarn says, I already like the video. Playing some Need for Speed while watching your stream. Great Uni Tiger. Hope everyone's having a great day. Like this stream. My goodness. That was a big one. That was a big comment. Another African tiger fish there. I was like, because the current takes the bobber to the right, I always like to throw out way over to that marker. Then let it float to the right. That's how I do it. That's how I do it. A 112 pounder, very nice. I search what is the best place to fish in the Heron River. And you saw my video saying not to fish in the Heron River. <laughs> is that what happened? Or was it from the uh, the first beginner series? Last cast with this rib shad. We're moving to a top water afterwards. I wonder if they'll go after a three speed. The answer is no, evidently. Tigers, do your worst to this little buzz bait. It's a 60 pound bluegill. Oh my god. How many fish have we caught on this account by the time we're in the Congo River? We have caught 10,045 fish on this account. I'd be interested to see how many fish CJ's caught. CJ, next time you're on your account, you gotta check how many fish you've caught. Do you enjoy fishing in real life more? Yeah, thank you. I do. <sighs> GG, PCAT says. Yeah, P cat, I agree. Well, other than that one African tiger fish, we have not caught anything this morning. Did they just nerf the morning or what? Try a spoon, see if we get anything on a spoon. What's the best XP fish in Congo for level 52? Do you have the gear to take on a big fish, Grizzly? to keep that up <laughs> chain pickerel chain pickerel is the answer you seek bum, 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 bum. say your drag in line there you go your drag in line done and done What's up? Yeah, we're getting closer, aren't we? All right, I'm moving spots. You don't have a net for a Nile Perch Unique? I don't either. But you get a lot of XP for it, which is what matters. even catch any fish over here.
All right. I'm gonna toss this puppy out here. Joey Shoes. It's been a while. Hope all is well. It's it's going well, man. Thanks for asking. How's it going with you? Going well with you? Throw that one over here. Just we'll see what we catch. If we catch a Nile perch, we might up the hook size. Thanks for all the beginner series videos at Emerald and the Everglades got me up and running, sir. Hey, right on. Tanks with wings. Glad to hear it. What's your favorite fish to catch on Fishing Planet? Uh, probably tarpon. I enjoy the tarpon. If the tiger fish would go after topwater lures more, I know they go after them sometimes. But if they would go after them more, I would fish for them more. They don't. So. so. I probably enjoy them more than the tarpon. But they don't. So. Hmm? Hook the monster bass on a swim bait? Whoa. How big was it? How big was it? Well, do you think I'll be able to do San Joaquin? I don't know, man. Whenever you can afford a big, a big rod. <laughs> oh God. Need something strong for the uh, for the sturgeon. Have a good one. Hey, take care, Gerald. I think I'm going to be doing that on San Joaquin. So I tried to go in San Bergers, so just wasn't feeling like I was getting anywhere. Came back to San Joaquin. Yep. Yippers, man. Yep. It's true, Cobra. What's up, Carson? How's it going, man? Oh, 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 oh. Got a fish on. Where you can catch a T-Rex? I don't remember that. No. Hello there. Ra? I don't even know how to say your name. There's so many letters. We'll just go with Ra. Unless it's supposed to be a rap. Could be rap, spelled interestingly. What are we thinking? Staying down pretty low. Could be a catfish, could be a Nile perch. If the Nile perch came up, I would think. This is what's making me think it's a catfish because it hasn't gotten up to the top. Oh, we got another one on the other rod too. What do we got? Trophy African sharp tooth. It's fun. Ah, oh, we missed the other fish, but there we go. Trophy African sharp tooth. Interesting, man. Interesting. Okay. That's fun. Didn't get a lot of XP for it, but I'll take it. I would mark it on my map, but... It's so close to another marker that I don't really know why. I guess we could still mark it. That's where we got a unique voondu. Could have very well had a unique voondu on there. Hey yo, hey yo, Sadie Snail says. How you doing, Sadie? there gonna do some fish identification tonight I don't know if people want to 
suppose so. I'm never against doing some doing some fish identification, making sure people know what fish they're looking at. Grab my control. I'm not even currently playing. <laughs> Yeah, man, that's how you know. That's how you know Fishing Planet's got ya. Ah, uh, man, that's funny. How you been lately, Sadie S? We're doing quite well, thanks for asking. Very busy. I wish I wasn't so busy, but... That's the name of the game. That's what we got. Hopefully, later on, here in like five years or something like that, I'll have more time to make videos. <laughs> That's my five-year plan. Five years, I'll be able to make more videos. <laughs> Bobby Worst, how's it going? Sorry, what? Smokey says, sorry, sorry, what? 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 What about what? I would throw, let's, I guess we get the, it doesn't hurt to throw a flat spoon. What lure would a catfish go to? That's the question. Really? Why are you so anxious? Why are you so anxious, T-Smart? Alrighty, we're hooked up. We're hooked up. Fish identification, yeah, if you never you've never taken part in fish identification, this is a voodoo. It's gotta be. Gotta be. Do you tie flies? I don't tie flies, adventure with Grayson. God, I, I just got into fly fishing not like a year and a half ago or something like that. And fly fishing is really not like a big widely used thing in Kansas, so you can certainly do it. Don't get me wrong. Maybe when I go up to Wisconsin or something, I'll get into it. Who knows? Not like I need another, uh, another, uh, hobby. A comba! A comba! A com I did not expect a comba. Did not expect a comba. That's just wild. Wild. How far away we are from our markers now. So the, the catfish are fun. But they just don't give you any XP, man. Like we caught a uh, we caught a trophy sharp tooth back there. It's like a hundred and some pounds or something like that, wasn't it? it gave us three thousand XP. It's garbage, dude. Guess who's got a cold again? Oh my god. Oh my. Is it Carly K? Carly K's got a cold. Is that what you're trying to say, Beagle? No way you got a cold again. No way. Julia Beck Gomez, how's it going? What kind of fish is behind you? That's an African tiger fish. Cooper, how's it going? By the way, happy late birthday. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. What is it? What is a fish identification? I don't have the I don't have the cards in front of me right now. Maybe if we get to this other spot and I set up my rods and we're waiting, you fly fish in real life. Well, what do you think I'm talking about, Cobra? You think I'm talking about fly fishing and fishing planet? Or uh, fly fishing in my dreams? Which might happen, I don't know. Started tying flies to save money on bass loops. <laughs> I don't fish for bass though, so I don't I don't like I don't relate to it as much. We're gonna see if we can go get some big goliaths over here. Pinky's over here too. Oh my god. 
Where are you casting out? You're casting out way that way, huh? Okay, I see you. I see you. We're actually getting pretty close. I think at 74 I unlock some uh, decent gear. So maybe if we hit 74 we'll go back and buy some more rods or something like that. I always throw one rod over here because I've, I've, I have caught a unique Goliath over there. Um, but we'll also throw one out here. I just kind of toss it out this way and then let it float down. Float down with the current. Fishing Planet map tier list? I have not. No. It might be kind of fun. Very avid fly fisherman. My PB is 22 inch rainbow trout on elk hair caddis. Nice. Very cool, Joey. Happy late birthday as well. Thank you. Appreciate it. I don't know if I read that or not. Fishing Planet for two years on and off, and I couldn't progress through the game. I found your beginning series. Now I'm addicted to the game again. Thank you so much. Belated birthday. Thank you, Elijah. Yeah, it's a great game when you actually can, like, make your way through it. And I think that's what I kind of picked up from the game. It's kind of difficult unless you, like, as much as you want to figure it out on your own, like, the game's just kind of ridiculous in some ways, so. I should start playing Ultimate Fishing Simulator again. <laughs> yeah. Think so, huh? Think so. All right, here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> Let's bring up the old dual screen. Everyone loves... It's so bad, man. This screen used to look okay at one point. It had like a little chat box down in the corner so you could see your little messages pop up. Need to just rework it or something. Anywho... Let's see this. All right, we got fish here. So, name of the game. Who was asking about? Smokey. Smokey was asking about how this fish identification works. When is your birthday? December 7th. So, for instance, I would show you... Uh, let's grab an easy one, huh? Let's grab an easy one. I would show you a fish, right? Boom. You take a look at the fish, and then you tell me what fish it is. And then, once everyone or like, you know, anyone who wants to guess has guessed, then, then, uh, boom, we show it off, see how many people have got it right, and we go on to the next, the next fish. Next fish in the list. So, pretty easy. Little fish identification, fish identification cards from Kansas. So hopefully, hopefully you know some some Midwestern fish. I hope anyway. <laughs> I should get. Oh man, it'd be super cool to get fish identification cards from other states. I just don't even like. You wouldn't even know that these existed unless I had got them. As a, I actually had get, gotten fish identification cards from little camps growing up, but uh. I actually got these cards specifically from uh, my wife's uh, father, who was a park ranger, so he had had these stashed away and gave them to me. First uni of the night, Grayson says. Told you that my biggest fish 35 pound red drum, but now my new biggest fish 88 pound red tail catfish. Ooh, very nice. It's a blast. I bet so. I bet so. When I get my hands on a two-weight fly rod, why I'd buy one, I don't know. I guess for trout or something. I'll I'll have to give it a try. Carp and a bunch of others. <sighs> Here we go. Goliath. Boom. Little Goliath. I'm gonna give this one on the right like two more minutes, and if it doesn't catch anything, I'm throwing it out into the deeps. I feel like actually, I'm just gonna move it now. I feel like I've moved, I've put it over there in the past because we have caught the one unique there, but I don't think I've caught one there since then. So we're just gonna throw it out. Throw it out into the deeps. 
into the deeps. All right, all right, all right. Okay, let's get into this. Starting it off with a with a small fish that requires some detail. Fish make of it. Who who knows? Who knows? Never. I'll never count anything out. Of course, the fishing's bad right now because it's so cold outside, and I'm gonna be leaving before it warms up. So it probably won't happen. What do we got here? Small details will key you into which one this is. So we got Fisher Roy's got a unique uh, Nile perch there. Ooh, ooh. What time is it? What time is it? It's red ear sunfish time, is what it is. Very nice. Saw some red ears mentioning red ears in the in the chat. Black crappie or a different crappie? Ah, all right, all right, all right. Did we change the time? We did not change the time. Let's catch one more fish and we'll change the time. Got a bass up there. <laughs> Why? Oh no. Oh no, we're gonna look like a fool over here juggling. Juggling. Oh, the f that fish, when he jumped out, didn't seem too bad, actually. I'm afraid to put this rod down now. I feel like we're gonna lose it if we try to uh, do anything fancy. Eh, who cares? Who cares? Come here, you fish. Who likes beeping? I've got beeping. How about you? Your dad made it to level 50 before he even figured out the drag? Oh no. We got this guy in. A little Goliath tiger fish. Let's see if we can get this fish in. No! Dang it, man. Literally gonna put that fish down and grab this rod to reel it in. Missed it by that much. All right, we're gonna switch time to here. To here. Fishing plants thinking. Thinking a little bit too much, fishing planet. You need to stop thinking so much and just act. All right, you're thinking a concerning amount. Yeah, give me the subs. Give me the subs. This is why people come to watch. Chris, thank you. Appreciate it. All right, we're gonna have to, uh, I guess we're gonna have to close out. Oh, there we go. Connection to the server lost. God, waiting for an update of any sort. And I was like, golly, just tell me something. Tell me something, tell me something. We're so close to 74 as well. If we'd hit 74, I would have used this excuse to uh, go check out some new gear. But we'll... We'll keep going. We'll keep going, I suppose. Alright, you guys. Let me get my rods out first. Hold your horses. Let me get my rods out here first, okay? 
Everyone calm down. My goodness, it's an old song, man. That's from when, like, I was a kid. All right, we got rods out. Let's go. All right, just as you guys all asked, here we go. What do we got here? Huh? Huh? Just as you all desired. Whoa, we got a fish on. We got a fish on. I'm doing this left-handed right now. This is difficult. It's taking line out. It's taking line out. He's a crazy fish. Smallmouth bass. Spotted largemouth. It is a spotted bass. Look at that. Got that spotted bass. Everyone wanted me to do a bass, and then only like two of you got it. One of you got it. What's the deal, huh? That's why I just don't do anything you guys want anymore. <laughs> just kidding. Trying to trip you up. Well, I think this might just be a fairly decent sized fish, everybody. Took us out to a hundred and some odd feet. Your PC's blur. Oh, but talk about PC blurry. Thoughts on the uh, the rural rural Kansas Creek oil spill? I think it's I think it's dumb that it happened. I haven't seen the effects of it yet, um, quite yet, anyway. Um, it's funny because, well, it's not funny, but, um, the first article I read said that, uh, that the oil spill went into the Kansas River. And then when I clicked on the article, like, literally in the article, it was, like, into a, a into a creek. And I was like, okay, so does that creek go into the Kansas River or what? I don't know. Woo! I have to step back with that guy. Jeez Louise. Um, but I haven't, I haven't seen any photos of what's going on or uh, really looked into uh, how bad it is. I haven't been keeping up with it, so I really can't say much more than that, other than that the whole situation is stupid. All right, all right. Oh, just a 52-pounder took us out to 175 feet. That's crazy, man. Pick up the rod, he nail. You've got to be freaking joking me. On multiple accounts that he got off right as we picked up the rod and secondly that he now took so freaking long to pick it up oh sad stuff man I agree usually they have more spots I guess that artist just it was just a bad artist then huh that's what you're saying. He's just a bad, bad artist. Needs more spots, man. Been on for four hours playing Call of the Wild and Fishing Planet. Sure. Hmm. Here, we'll read the details. We'll read the details. It said a spotted bass is a black bass. Largemouth and as are largemouth and smallmouth bass. Oh, thank you for that little tidbit. Spotted bass strongly resemble largemouth bass, but have a smaller mouth, which was the first thing I noticed was that his mouth actually ends um, before his eye, whereas a largemouth's mouth extends be beyond their eye. I think that's a lot easier way to uh, tell which bass you've caught than. Uh, than just going off of something else. 
I feel like there's lots of different ways to identify fish, but there's like... There's some identification things that are a lot easier to see um, than some of the other ones. Um, I think that's one of them. The mouth. Because if its mouth is before the eye, then it's got to be a small mouth or a spotted. And if it doesn't look anything like a small mouth, then it's got to be a spotted. Did you hear about the per the person catching a sturgeon here in Kansas? Yeah, it's one of the carp guys, man. We went out fishing for one the like the the following weekend and spent like five hours out there trying to catch another one, and didn't catch one. And then um. And then um. And then uh, God, uh, this this past weekend they went out again, and one of the guys ended up catching either one or two sturgeons, so. But not not a big lake sturgeon like he caught. But uh, if you ever see any of our fishing videos and see any of the comments down there, that's uh, by the world's okayest angler. Like, that's, that's him. That's the guy that caught the sturgeon in Kansas. Do you watch hockey? No, I don't watch hockey, unfortunately. I just grew up in Kansas. No one plays hockey here, so I just never had an interest in hockey. I don't remember me. It's well over a year, if not, but just games ring a bell? Bro. I remember everyone. You never have to worry about it. You can just treat me like a friend you've known your whole life. Best way to get money in Fishing Planet. Just buy it. Just buy money. That's that's the best way. If you want money without doing any work, just, just put your money in and buy it. Just swipe your credit card. It's the easiest way. Otherwise, I'd recommend just following the uh, beginner series or, or watching the EESS video. Either of those is a pretty good bet. 60 some and 6 hours here in Kentucky where I live. Ooh. Pretty sweet. Yeah, we have a lot of videos catching catfish. Hi, lines, everyone. Take care, Cobra. Have you caught a spoonbill? I have to a trip to Florida. You caught a spoonbill in Florida? No, uh, Oklahoma's pretty, uh, pretty, uh, famous for catching spoonbill. And we were going to try and catch one last time I was in Oklahoma. And, uh, the timing was just bad. And, um, and, and so we didn't book a trip to go after a spoonbill. Uh... And then literally we go to the conference that we were going for and the one of the gals that was presenting put a picture of her spoonbill that she caught like literally the day that we were going to go. Oh, he's only a trophy. Boy, he put up a good fight for a little 75 pounder and that is going to take us to 74. Let's see what rods we unlocked. Good to know. Heck yeah, man. So we got the filure. Filure. Uh, the Makanzi got some uh, minnow grubs, ribbed shad, and a three-ray wig. <laughs> I'm just messing up words left and right. Okay, top notch. A money bundle. We see you're you're a little short on cash. You want some money? How about some money, sir? Yeah, that's what I need. That's what I need right now. I need some cash. Oh, man. Well, hopefully it turns out okay there, Matthew. Alrighty, let's see what we can buy. I am looking for a good bottom rod to match my rod I have right now. We can get this Mukanzi, 12 foot 10. Um... I think that's uh, 81.6 pounds, and this rod we have is also 81.6 pounds. So we might switch out this guy and uh, throw in that new Mukanzi we just bought. Where are ya, Mukanzi? 
And then, let's see here. I think we might actually just buy two of those Makanzis, even though, I don't know, guys. Yeah, whatever, we'll do it. That way we can just do the same setup for both rods. We don't have to worry about it. Alrighty, top notch, we got that. We're gonna buy, let's see here. Oh, spinning reels. Go to the end here. We got the uh, fill year 11,000. We're just gonna buy two of those. And then we're gonna get some at least 81 pound line to put on here. We have 83 pound fluoro. It's almost broken, so let's see if we can get some some more 83 pound fluoro. Doesn't look like it actually. 92 bake ones. We unlock 83 pound fluoro at 75. Okay, well, we have some. We have some left over in here, hopefully. Eighty-three. Oh, we only have three hundred and twenty-eight. Dang. Oh, we we have plenty. Okay. Good deal. We have plenty of that line. That's good. Let's throw on seven ounce lead. Um, we're gonna do some strong leaders. Do we have multiple 87 pound leaders? Let's see. We do. All right, let's throw on some 87 pound liters. That'll allow us to have a max drag there. And an ADOT barbless hook on both. And some large minnows. And that should, simple bell, of course. That should be good. We're going to get rid of our African bottom preset that we have from that one pack. That's the spinning preset. Do I don't have it in here anymore. Got our Krampus pack stuff there. Don't need that anymore. Or that. Don't think anyway. Get rid of that too. And that. Alrighty. We are going to name this our Congo Bottom Rod. Sweet. Now we got two of those. Could we also get a new match rod is the question. What's the most expensive fish in this game? I'm not really sure. It's either Goliath tiger fish or a, uh, or a Nile perch. I'm not sure. They both get up and in, into quite a bit of money. Do you use ground baits or feeders? Uh, depends on what I'm fishing for. But yeah, definitely do. Guess what tomorrow is, Bo? What? I'm terrible. I'm terrible guessing. Because you're getting a new bait caster. Ooh, very nice. So we're in match rods right now, right? Let's see what what we can get. We got an equator match. Seven foot ten. Seven nine point three. What is uh what do we have right here? That's an eighty-three pound rod, okay. So not quite as strong as the one we have. Still still pretty strong. We actually get the one we have already at 75, so. Okie dokie, okie dokie. Well, do we want to upgrade? I don't know, man. Let's go with that for now. Two bottom rods and uh, 
and one one match rod should do us fine, I think. Unless we want to do a third one. I guess we could. We're gonna move this guy over. Unless I uh, got rid of that, and then that would suck. I think I did. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Well, let's make that again real quick. Oh, where are you? Strong match rod. There you are. Um, Lampusion. Eighty-three point eight. So we're going to need that. I don't know what was using this 328, but that's not enough there. We're going to throw on a um, big old waggler. And heavy leader. And an A dot. Large minnow. We're going to buy more large minnows before we head out. And shiners. We'll buy more shiners too. And then I'm just going to buy the exact same thing. This Makanzi 12 foot 10. With that same reel. Let's see if we can just build it from the template. Hey, nice. We got, uh, I got three of them. All right, oh, right, oh, guys, right, oh, right, oh. Okay, so let's buy more, uh, more bait, and then we'll head back out there. We got half an hour, so we're good. Good on time. Got any good bait yet? Not really. I wish it was easier to buy if it was just like, how many do you want and had a slider? Wouldn't that be easier? Just slide it over to 10 or something like that. Or if I could just hit enter instead of having to click on close every time. Ching, ka ching, ka ching, ka ching, ka ching, ka ching. All right, surely we have a decent amount. 131 and 145. That's good enough for now. All righty, let's go catch some fish. Can't wait till I get to your level. I'm still at 25. Oh, well, you can get there. 12 days till Christmas tomorrow. Ooh. Is that when they uh, they start doing the uh, TV series? 12 days till Christmas on ABC Family. Is that what that is? At Congo now. Me too. What should you buy your level, currently level 48? Now I just hold on to him. You'll find something you want to spend them on, like holiday stuff. Say you need some special uh, bait to do a holiday activity. Might might be what you need, man. Whoa, watch out for logs. Actually, I'm changing my mind. Oh god, can we even make it down this? 
Wow, didn't even touch the edges. I am a master boat driver. Since it's morning on this day, I thought we'd go over to this location. Where we were catching the, uh... The, uh... Unis. The Unis. Now we got four rods to throw out that are all strong, so we'll be good now. Good thing there's no boat durability. Why would I need it? I never hit anything. Alrighty, here we go, boys and girls. And everything. Alrighty. One bottom rod. Ah, ah, ah. Should be able to do max drag. Two bottom rods. Guys, we're still 14 likes away. I don't know why I did that. 14 likes away from 100 likes. Can we do it? Three bottom rods. Will, uh, will they do a Christmas deal? Uh, they haven't in the past. Well, that doesn't mean that they won't do it this time. And our one match rod. But I'm not sure now that you've said it. No, man. I didn't hit it once. Didn't hit it. I drive. The way I drive makes it look like I hit the sides. Just because I like to drive rickety rackety, but definitely not hitting the sides. I would never. Julia might leave. Oh, God. You gotta do what you gotta do. Gotta do what you gotta do. Okay. So. Until we catch another fish. Gotta pick a good one. Gotta pick a good one here. Oh, golly. Oh, this one will get people. Here we go. Who's gonna get this one? That's the question. Alrighty, there we go. What do we have there? Hmm? An interesting fish or what? Almost looks like a little mangrove snapper or something. Oh god, I don't have my drag set. Making quick work of this guy. Warm! How much longer is the stream? Till 9.30. We got another uh, 22 minutes. Alien Bluegill. Professional bow driver. That's right. We got a trophy African tigerfish to start. Nice, man. Yeah, buddy. Good start. Good start with the trophy. Warmeth, warmeth, warmeth. Imagine they had boat repair, so every time you crash, you have to repair the boat. I I don't care. It sounds like a nuisance, but maybe some people would like it. I'm honestly surprised they haven't done it already. Or made you pay for gasoline or something like that. Anyway, Fishing Planet could potentially make money. I could, uh, I could see them doing it. Best boat driver there is. Yeah. Amaya Tucker, what's going on? Tell us. Tell us, tell us. Little Goliath. Threw three rods out there, and so far we've got fish on uh, two of them. Oh, don't have very high drag on that one. There we go. There we go. Drilling in this one pretty quickly. Switch it over just to make sure we have plenty of pressure on that guy.
little dude. Nice. Four rods out, four fish. You have the flu! Oh no! It is flu season. And that's why I'm not leaving my house for anything. No, I'm kidding. I just don't, I don't go anywhere. Never have to leave my house. I do everything from home. What does Fishing Planet do for Christmas? You can, uh, you can look up previous videos. Just look up, um, Fishing Planet Christmas or something like that. Um, you'll see some of our previous videos. They put out some, uh, holiday fish, some, some special ones. They got some fish that look like little elves and they got uh, others that... Have uh, they have some boss fish that have uh, Santa's Santa's hat, beard, and glasses, I believe. Then they have like uh, crystal burbot and uh, furry salmon. What's the other one? Moose salmon, elk salmon, something like that. reindeer salmon. You have the shot, so you're not that sick. Well, that's good. Ninety-six likes. We're four away from our goal. Will we hit it? That's the question. Are there any Christmas boats? There is one Christmas boat, I believe. It's uh, Santa's kayak or something like that. So you can potentially get that thing. Not as cool as the Franken boat. Franken. The Frankenfish boat. This guy's so small that he's been putting up a fight this whole time. <laughs> Trophy! 71. Boy, that, that gave us a good chunk. I like these trophies. We're already like a tenth of the way to 75. And unlocking Congo River for good. Crappie. Blue dunce crappie. That's right. The dunces. Oh, that was a number six, huh? See if we can catch another four fish. Amaya's got to go. All right, get better, Amaya. Have they done any sales? Don't believe so. They do. Uh, they do like um, not really a sale, but you can buy like the holiday gear at a discount. What's the best pack to get a level thirty-five? No packs, man. Packs shorten the game. It, 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 they cut you to a part that, like a part of the game that you're not supposed to be in. They give you a bunch of gear, and you level up as much as you can, and then you get sent right back to where you were. And it can be—it's just horrible. It, watch the video where I where I say, uh, you know, don't buy DLCs or something like that, and you'll you'll go down in the comments. And it's just comment after comment of like, my friends and I decided to play this game and they bought DLCs and I didn't. And now they don't play anymore and I keep playing. And it's just like, yeah, that's... DLC packs ruin the game. And, and Fishing Planet doesn't care because they made money from you. They don't care if you keep playing or not. Um, so I always say, if you want to play the game naturally still enjoy it uh buy buy the uh premium pass but don't don't buy packs car sent okay okay all right let's see what else we can find this thing since the bite has completely stopped oh we never did say it's a rock bass stumped some people there Rock bass. Oh, yep. The old rock bass. All right, let's start with a, uh, a simple one. A simple one. A fish that's not native to Kansas, evidently. Dak Collins with uh, an A1499. What's the A stand for? Or is that just a... Uh, is that... Is that is, are they Australian dollars or something? I've never seen that before. <laughs> but thank you, Dak. My goodness gracious. Really appreciate it. 
Jim K says, hey, Bo, I have been watching you since 2019. Loving every video, especially our how-to videos. Thank you for the awesome vids. Nice job in London with fishing and helping the guy stuck in the river. Absolutely, Jim K. Yeah, that was a blast. I really enjoyed that trip. But thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. Sometimes with those fishing videos, you never know how they're going to do. All right, what's this thing? It says that it was introduced into Kansas in 1949. Which I didn't know, so that's kind of interesting. Ooh, what is it, Night Warrior? What could it be? So many people are uh, are really tripped up by this one. Just one, just one answer. No. No double answers. Uh, um, it's, um, it's this, or, or maybe this? I don't, um, this, I guess. Uh. Be confident. Be confident with your answers. Little 50-pound Goliath Tigerfish. All right, here we go. Walleye, there we go. No spotches. Spotches, that's what I'm calling them. Let me pull out the uh, Sauger here. You notice how on the Sauger, it's got some pretty definitive black, dark brownish markings on it. And also take a look at that top fin. Notice how that dorsal fin has no spots on it on the walleye. But on the Sauger, got lots of spots on it. Tail fin too. So that's a pretty instant giveaway, right? But the, the, uh, another big thing about the Sauger and the Walleye is that the Sauger actually has, like, an eyeball that you can see versus the Walleye, like a pupil, I guess, is what I mean to say, versus the Walleye has that, has that, like, mirror-like sheen on its eyes. And so that's where you'll see the Sauger, which is a pretty easy way to see a Sauger, is that the Sauger will have, um, that sheen of their eye but the uh, body of a sauger. It'll have the markings of a sauger with that sheen of the walleye in its eye. Pretty easy giveaway there. So yeah. Pretty neat, guys. Pretty neat. Anyone caught a uh, sauger before? You have a good picture of it. I'd love to, uh, I'd love to use it in, uh, in my state graphics and stuff like that. You, you'd be famous. You'd be famous in Ohio and Arkansas. <laughs> it's to help them see at night. <gasps> really? Could it also be because they're uh, they're down deep in the water? Have a little, uh, have some uh, some better luck seeing down down deeper and stuff like that too. Could be a mixture of things. In fact, maybe the uh, maybe this says something about it. Nope, doesn't say anything. Oh well. It's Australian dollar. Okay, I saw the A and I wondered. Dak is a good Australian name too. You know. Just a just a quality Australian name. Dak. Kangaroo Jack and Dak. Hanging out. Giving him a smack. Alrighty. Been a little bit since that first uh, first four we caught. Then we caught that other uh, Goliath, the small one, 50 pounds or whatever. Oh, what were ya? Came up out of the water there. Don't have picks, you think? Got to. Oh no, Matthew, that's horrible. Gotta go to his funeral on Wednesday. Gosh dang. That stinks, dude. Well, understandable. If you need people to hang out with on Wednesday after the funeral, we'll be here. Can't wait for the ocean update. I agree, man. I'm, uh, I'm curious to see where it'll be. 
but I've I have been I've been waiting for a good Australian map for a while. If we could go after some Trevally and stuff like that down in Australia, that'd be sick. Some uh, what are they? Queenfish, something like that. That'd be cool too. Yeah, him. Congrats on the hundred like oh thank you. <laughs> we did do it though. I wasn't paying attention, but right on, we hit our goal. Thanks everybody. A little 25 pounder. Well, I tell you what, you caught an 18 pound African tiger fish. I didn't even I swear I haven't seen an African tiger fish under 20 pounds. Wild. What is uh what time is it? 604. 604. 604. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go back to that original spot and see if we can do anything. Murray Cod, yeah, that'd be sick too. I agree, I agree. Get the uh, Bermondi. Get some Bermondi. Yeah, I could see them doing like a uh, like a river leading out to the ocean or something. I don't know, something similar to what they have with the Everglades. Where you kind of have a little bit of fresh water, but then you get into the brackish water too. What the heck, my boat just gravitated towards the sign there. I never hit the sides. The walkway was on the water. I wonder if we could ramp over that. Now I'm curious. Short little detour, short little detour, everyone. We're gonna see if we can ramp over this uh, walkway here. Oh, right there. Ah, oh, dang. Answer's no, we can't. Most amazing boat driver ever. Thank you, Night Warrior. Uh, what's important is that, um, you know, I remain um, kind of like a role model. You know, I, I, I don't want to be like a role model per se, but like, uh, you know, I want to be the example. When you're thinking about driving your boat in your fishing planet game, I want you to think about me safely driving my boat around, imitating those same practices and whatnot. Um, I think that's going to be very important. Oh, thanks, Abrams. Important detail. Important detail. All right, let's change it up. No! Don't disconnect. He's a croc hunter or something. A croc hunter! Man, that stinks, Matthew. Ah. All right. With six minutes left, too. What's the deal? Disconnected twice. What's my biggest in real life fish? I got, I got, I got you, bro. Got you. Because it will most likely end in injury or, yeah, obviously. I mean, it's too, it's too extreme for most people. Too extreme for most people. Exactly, exactly. And that's all that's all I wish for. Carson.
Do you think the boat and the Congo pack's worth it? No, I hardly use the dang thing. I mean, it's kind of nice to have the rod holders there, I guess, but like, I hardly use them. Any Xander of the Netherlands? Any tips? Ugh. What have I caught Uni Xander on in the past? I want to say crankbaits, maybe? Crankbaits and medium spoons, maybe? I'm not 100% sure. I didn't really do a ton of fishing at the Netherlands, though. I just kind of found it a little bit difficult just because, like, it was so uniform. Like, I couldn't... There was, like, nothing telling me to throw to a specific spot. So uh, I didn't really enjoy fishing there. See you next time. Take care, Roy. Oh, two at the same time, man. Just pulling that fish in. That one's taking some line out. Plenty of pressure, at least. Just like a 45 pound Goliath or something like that. Abrams is gonna hop off too. Take care, man. There's a little Goliath. It's a trophy Goliath, though. Okay. See you. Reel this guy in a little bit and switch him out. Another Goliath there. Plenty of beeping going on, that's good. Always could use more beeping. Got that fish coming in. Grease of Colorado, how's it going, man? Alrighty. Oh no, now I got two of them. One of them got off. Well, he just had a little spurt of energy there. Goodness gracious. I got 140 right now. Get under 100. Lots of beeping. Good deal. Feel so lonely when there's no beeping going on, so that's good. That guy's being a pain. It's a little African. Grab the rod, he know. So far, we're only missing one on the second rod. But, let's get this fish in. If it's our only fish we catch, then we'll end it here. Chat squad, I agree. 57 people all busy working on their own things and I'm just providing some background music, I guess. I think that at least like 24 people like fall asleep during the live stream too. By far my favorite fishing planet YouTube. Thank you. That's what I tell my mechanic every time I see them. I'm like, dude, you're so underrated. You're by far my favorite mechanic that I know. I, uh, I tell people at um, at the store that too. Go, you know what? 
of all Walmart employees, you are my favorite Walmart employee. Understandable, Matthew. Alrighty. Last Goliath of the night, everybody. And it's a trophy, too. Right on. Well, we're almost like... I'd say we're like a fifth of the way. If not a sixth, I guess. 23,000, 18,000 XP. I'll take it. I'll take it. Anyway, I think we're going to be back here in the Congo, hopefully hitting 75 on Wednesday. So look forward to that. And then we'll be putting out some more River Monsters videos, everyone. Looking forward to that, too. But until the next episode, everyone, take care. We'll see you on Wednesday. Favorite target cashier ever. Oh, thank you. Thank you. All right. Take care, everyone. We'll see you next time. And as always, remember everyone. Planet One Family. Game on.